Hey guys, we're out here finishing up the uh, erosion control slash free food area. And we're planting a whole bunch of different varieties of stuff. This is some rye that we're gonna try. We also have some local mixes here. A dryland mix, a blend of native grasses uh, from Arizona, northern Arizona, and some reclamation grass here. Galetta. We also just planted some Arizona high country grass. Uh, Alan's raking in that section. You can see he's just lightly turning the seed under after it was broadcast. And then we're going to give it a nice coating of mulch. We're doing this today because it's not only is it gorgeous. It's going to rain. Yeah, it's going to rain for days. It's yeah, which means it's going to snow a foot in the mountain. So you can see Leah broadcasting some flax. In this section, we've done. Uh, yellow pea, flax, and oats. So we're going to have um, a triple bloom. The flax comes blooms blue flower sometime in July, mid-season, late June. The oats are going to come up early and they're going to hit the milk phase about the same time and we'll be able to harvest the oats for milky oat tincture. And the peas we can just eat anytime. So you can see here the density of the seeding. Quite a bit of flax down there. And then we're just going to rake it up and mulch it. I'll show you some of the seeds I'm working with. So this is the flax we got straight from Canada. About $38 for a 50. You see it has got some really nice wheat here. It's a pretty spectacular wheat. And because it's so fat, these, these berries are really nice looking. And so we're going to then plant another section with some different grain. And we're doing some wheat in this. And we also have this field pea, this green field pea that we're doing. All edible. All nitrogen fixing, and you can get these for 50 cents a pound, so it, you don't have to worry about overseeding. Yeah, you just take it. We're about halfway finished. We've come a long way, folks. I think we have more than halfway. But we've gotten a lot done. Yeah. Teamwork. Throw the peas out. <laughs> So all these different seeds require different techniques for broadcasting. You can get a machine, or you could just use your hand, like that. Trial and error, and see what kind of throw works best. But ultimately, when you uh, regrade and rake this up, it's gonna you're gonna be able to distribute any way you want it. So we're gonna get on with this job. We got the well company out front, finishing up, fixing our well pump. And that's almost finished. And a lot of progress. Early spring at the ranch. Alan, do you like seeding? I love it. Who would? So, thanks for joining us. If you have any questions, leave them down below. It's not hard. You do have to get the seed. And I'm going to say that we did a really good job. We drove to Bayfield and we were able to get. Uh, some of these grains, you know, just pennies on the dollar. Like the barley and the oats, they cost about 10, 12 bucks a bag for 50 pounds. Peas, 50 cents a pound. And the flax, about 75 cents a pound.
but we've, we're now going to be basically seeding almost an acre of land here. I mean, it is quite a bit. So hit that subscribe button, hit the thumbs up, and plant some seeds. Do it.